White Chocolate, do me a favor. Take this game, review it however you see fit, and post it onto YouTube. <laughs> this is a horror survival first-person shooter that places you in the shoes of a lone gunman tasked with collecting money off of dead zombie corpses. You've got a wide variety of guns, ranging from the shotgun to the revolver pistol. Choose from over two characters and start the rampage. Firstly, what you want to do is immediately turn off the music because the soundtrack to this game comprises of one song and it just repeats on loop for the entirety of your playthrough. I also want to apologize to all you PC buffs out there, but it's actually not possible to turn down the graphics settings, so I'm suffering a bit of a frame rate loss. You know, it's a real shame that modern games nowadays don't have developers that take the time to optimize their game before they release them to the public. You should keep in mind that this game was released in 2009. Basically what you do is run around the map sniping zombies from long distances with your shotgun once or twice before you have to refill your ammo. And upon finding one of the few ammo crates that are scattered around the place, it will only refill one magazine of whatever gun you're holding, which means you can either fill up your revolver that has eight shots and takes half a magazine to kill anything, or refill eight shots of your shotgun that basically obliterates anything you're standing in front of no matter how far away they might be. Even Nemesis from Resident Evil doesn't even stand a chance against the freaking shotgun. Just look at the size of the UI. Half the time I had to turn it off just so I could see over the freaking armor-plated HUD. I later went on to unlock the AK-47 and if you thought the HUD was hard to look over, you know nothing! Now we all know most first-person shooter games have a mechanic to aim down your sights, but this game does something really special. Instead of copying Call of Duty or any first-person game at all made after 2011, it makes the iron sights mechanic actually incredibly redundant, and the gun moves to the bottom middle of the screen, and it doesn't change your reticle or anything, but just how accurate your gun shoots. The slaughtering floor is unique in the sense it doesn't just shove the gun in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, but by moving the gun to the middle, it shows us a whole new perspective. No other game has done- oh shit, there is no way to lose this game. If you die, you just respawn at, with the same ammo that you died with, just a few short yards away. At, and there's no way to win this game either. You can't lose, you can't win. There are no objectives to complete. Oh wait, what are these? Well, these can hardly be called objectives at all. Upon completing one of these so-called objectives, exactly. like getting 10 kills or 10 headshots, you get the words Rampage or Bloodbath on your screen, but that's about it. You don't get more ammo, you don't do more damage or run fast or anything. You just get that plastered across the screen and, and it starts all over again. Hey Cold, what about this timer? Well, if you manage to stay in the game long enough without committing suicide, everything turns blue and the creatures from Penumbra start coming out of nowhere and, and then... After you kill one of them, they're gone. So now we have to wait for this timer to run down to see if we get a victory screen or something. I will eat your soul. What? Oh, jeez! Where did that thing come from? And why does he sound like one of those squid guys from Knights of the Old Republic? Alright, we only, we only have 55 seconds left to go. I'm all out of ammo. I got 5% health. I just gotta get... I just gotta, excuse me, I just gotta get this ammo. Let me just get this ammo box, please. Let me just, I got it, I got- No! You no! Are you serious? And I had a minute left to go. And the timer doesn't reset when you die, so there's literally no point to anything. I can't lose the game. I'm actually trying to find that big ass soul eating guy, but he must have all that forward out of the game. I'm surprised he cared enough to launch the game in the first place. Whoa, bro, out of my way, dude. Whoa, bro, get strafed, bro. I only got eight more seconds till I win this, bro, and I beat this game, and I'm never ever coming back and, and playing you guys ever again. Whoa, bro, get strafed, bro, and I win. And it's frozen. Uh, and the and the music's back. Oh, yeah, the game, the game just ended its own life.